Hello, this is Wouter at retrofitlab.com and in this video I will show you how to retrofit the Porsche 996.2 headlights. These headlights were made by Hella and they were available both in a, a halogen version or in a bike xenon version which were called Leetronic by Porsche. <clears throat> and in this case we have uh, halogen headlights here and I'm going to show you how to replace the projector and actually the procedure is exactly the same as the bike xenon headlights. These projectors are known to burn after, uh, after a couple of years, so the light output will decrease. So if you want to have uh, light output as good as new or actually even better than new, then um, retrofitting the projectors with a newer type of projectors, newer design, is a very good idea. You will get uh, a massive improvement in light output. So it's definitely uh, worth to do it. So, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is the headlight. As I said, this is a halogen headlight, but the xenon headlight, xenon headlight is actually uh, more or less exactly the same. So this is how it looks. Actually, Hella put some candy in there, <laughs> but they said uh, do not eat. So uh, please make sure you do not eat uh, any parts out of your headlight. That's not healthy for you. So first we need to remove the existing projector and in order to do so we need to uh, remove this entire frame because the projector is mounted to the frame and it comes off only when we have the frame out so i'll show you how to remove it there's a mechanism uh, here uh, to adjust the position of the projector the position of the beam first we have to remove the mechanism so we start by removing this screw Then we need a flat screwdriver. And then the mechanism comes out. Put that light upside down. It's easier to work. Before I remove the mechanism, still, I'm going to pop out the ball joints. There are three ball joints. There's one here. Just push it, that's the easiest option. So then it's released now. Here, this ball joint has been released, this ball joint has been released. And there's another one here. You can see it there. There it goes. Uh, this slid back in so again make sure this comes out need to remove the entire mechanism in order to uh, remove the projector Maybe this will make it a bit easier if we pop out these, the adjustment screws.
these will only come out when the mechanism is slid to the back There it goes. So this is the mechanism. Don't need to do anything with that, so I'll just keep it there. One adjuster stays in, doesn't come out. The other one came out. So now here we are, now we need to remove Three, three screws which are holding the, the projector frame to the high beam reflector. So here's a screw, there's another screw, and there is a third screw. Not sure if you can see it on the video, but just remove them. And number three. There's the screw, yeah. So now the projector is, the projector frame actually can be taken out like this. There we have the projector. Now we're going to remove the projector from the frame. Just four nuts, one, two, three, Four. It's been there for uh, probably uh, 20 years, so it doesn't come out very easy, but uh, there it is. So this is the old projector. Not sure if you can see it inside, but you can see it's worn out. There are small stains in the reflector. It's not as shiny as it should be. Looks like some chrome chipped out of it. So this will not, a this will not be a spectacular light output that will come out of this. Here's the new projector that we're going to mount. This is the Aron Optimus non-threaded version. It's a three inch projector as well. It's nice to compare them. As you can see, it's much, much smaller, but we'll demonstrate later that the light output is much, much better than uh, the original projector. 
even if you have a halogen or, or bike scene on projector, it uh, doesn't really matter. This one will, will give a massive improvement. So here's a bracket that we're going to uh, use to mount it to this frame. So first I'll mount Oh, I need a couple of nuts. Let me get them. So I got some nuts to make sure that we can uh, mount these spacers. So for, first we mount uh, 20 millimeter spacers. That's one. Three, and four, then we have four screws. Right, let's secure the nuts also. Okay, so the bracket is now mounted to the projector. Now we need another set of spacers. These will mount to the projector frame in the headlight. All this hardware, of course, is included in the kit. Right, here we go. Now this lines up, of course, with the original holes in the headlight frame, in the projector frame. Three, 
four. There we go. So the projector is mounted into the frame. Um, it's at the same distance of the original projector. Because of the spaces, the projector is a, is a lot shorter, but um, it is um, because of the spaces, it has the same distance. So there will not be a huge gap between the shroud and the projector lens. So now let's connect the bike scene on the wire. Just push it in there. There we go. Now it's ready to uh, be mounted inside of the headlight, but I'll choose this time to mount uh, the bulb first. So we have the bulb, just clips, the holder clips open like this. Um, there's a small notch up in there. Just put it in there and then Click, then it's ready to be mounted. Okay, there it is. Now the bulb is seated, the bike scene on wire is uh, connected. Now just clean the lens to make sure that no fingerprints are left. And before I'm going to put the, the projector back in, I'll already connect the uh, high beam splitter since now we have a little bit more room to work. So it's easier than when the bulb is installed. There we have it. So this will just click onto the bulb. This is the original connector, headlight connector, and this is just making, uh, this is an easy connection uh, to make into the bike xenon projector, uh, the, the bike xenon system. So there we go, we put the bulb back in. Counterclockwise to fix it. Too far. Yeah, there we are. Now I'll put the projector back in. We have the three screws again to be mounted, which connect uh, the projector frame to the uh, high beam reflector. So just have to make sure the first screw is in there.
Yeah. The one most tricky to reach is this one, of course. Try it from this side. Last screw out there. Double check this one. Right. There it is. So first I'll pop in this ball joint. The wires in there. Okay. Oh. Here we have the system again, adjustment system. Need to make sure we install this correctly. At the bottom, it's important that you take a look there. This slides in there, and not like this. Not like this. There we go. Installed this back in. Now we need to install that before you get it in completely. So, yeah, now we have to pop in the last two ball joints. one and that's two so there we are the projectors installed Small detail is that the lens holder is also black instead of the original lens holder, it's uh, silver. Oh. And in this case, the customer already painted this inlay black, so uh, it's a nice match. So the last thing to do is um, to connect the, the wires to the ballast 
in order to do that you will you will need to um, uh, the, the, this cap that goes over the back of the headlight that seals off the back of the headlight uh, the, the, in this case the customer didn't send it to us but you will need to drill a small hole to connect the wires I'll show the last step to you so this is the wiring that needs to be installed so normally the cap is here we need to drill a hole in the cap uh, 26 27 millimeters so you can install this grommet in there to make sure it's waterproof no water can come in now then these wires they go into the low beam terminal black on the negative and yellow positive red wire and this of course connects on the bulb and then the ballast you can mount the ballast outside of the headlight there's double sided tape included so this is the ballast holder or you can mount it somewhere if there's space with a screw then the ballast will just click in there now here's how to connect the ballast this goes right there and this will connect here yeah so this is the 12 volt input to the ballast there's a canvas canceller so you, you will not get any uh, uh, error messages on your display and then this will of course feed the bulb then you can just simply close the cap and you only have to mount this outside of your headlight the last thing before i forgot it is this screw we need to mount it in here to make sure the adjustment system is secured So there we are, just close the cap, mount it on your car and you're ready to go. So just a quick comparison, on the top you can see the new bike xenon projector, on the bottom this one you can see the halogen projector. As you can see the brightness, it's a massive difference, also the width, it's, uh, it's a lot smaller the halogen projector. The halogen, you can see it's very uh, spotty, there are dark spots because the the reflective layer inside of the projector it's not you know it's it's coming off so that's why you get this light output it will be the same with the bike xenon projectors on the electronic headlights so the improvement will be uh, will be gigantic if you compare this there's a, there's a big difference and even on the road the difference will be even more visible so yeah just uh, look for yourself and decide which beam you like more so this is how to install our kit in the porsche 996.2 headlights both for uh, halogen headlights or xenon headlights and this will massively improve your light output so thanks for watching if you have any questions leave a comment below on youtube or contact us through our website thanks for watching and see you next time